Anthony Albanese refused to tell Kyle Sanderlands how many people he slept with in a wide-ranging and at times cringeworthy interview on morning radio. In his first appearance on Sydney's Kiss FM, the upbeat Labour leader was quizzed about his music taste, climate change, marijuana and trans rights. Sanderlands asked the father of one, who has been dating union official Jody Hayden for two years, how many sexual partners he's had. Mr Albanese laughed and replied, I'm not going to give that up. I'll plead the fifth, prompting Sanderlands to taunt, are they single digits? Albo, they are single digits. Anthony Albanese refused to tell Kyle Sanderlands how many people he slept with in a wide-ranging and at times cringeworthy interview on morning radio. Sanderlands, a keen marijuana user, also asked Mr Albanese if he would legalize the drug for recreational use. But the Labour leader told him to speak to NSW Premier Dominic Perrottet because the state set the rules. The ACT became to first state or territory to decriminalise the drug in 2020. Sanderlands and co-host Jackie O previously said they planned to vote for Scott Morrison, but by the end of the 39-minute chat Sanderlands told Mr Albanese, I like you as a man and Jackie said she was now considering backing him. Sanderlands also invited the Labour leader, a notorious music fan, to DJ at his wedding to Tegan Kynaston. Labour is a massive 10 points ahead of the coalition according to the latest news poll. If that result is replicated on election day, Mr Albanese will cruise into power. The 59-year-old split from his ex-wife Carmel Tebbit in 2019 after 19 years of marriage and 30 years together. He said he was still emotionally bruised from the sudden split which involved no third parties, but came as a shock. The Labour leader met Ms Hayden in early 2020 at a conference in Melbourne, where he was speaking and they later went for drinks near his home in Western Sydney. Ms Hayden, who has never been married or had children, said she wasn't looking for a relationship, but realised she had fallen in love with Mr Albanese when he had a car crash in January 2021. His Toyota was rammed by a Range Rover and he was rushed to hospital for x-rays, but escaped serious injury.